This next experiment shows how to pull out of a skid and what to do in a spin. And again, it all has to do with vision and perception, right? Yes, in particular, this test shows how focusing on a visual target can help you recover from a skid. Okay, let's take a look at the video. The driver here goes into a skid and appears to just completely lose control. You can imagine what would happen if this were a real highway. So this next driver is going to go into a skid and he's just going to focus on a visual target, right? That's right. Do you mind explaining that to us? Well, what happens is when you go into a skid, you should immediately pick out a distant visual target, something always down the road, perhaps the road itself or a distant tree or sign, and try and keep your eyes focused on that target. When you do that, your brain will automatically tell your hands and feet what to do. And as these driver's tests show, drivers will recover from a skid earlier than those who did not use a visual target. So keeping your eyes focused on where you want to go is really important. That's right. But your hands and feet play critical roles too. For example, let's take a front wheel skid. You know you're experiencing a front wheel skid when you lose control of your steering. Say you turn the wheel to the left and the car keeps going straight. The problem is there's not enough weight on the front tires. The driver in this case should actually ease off the gas, gently apply the brakes. Now this will slow the car, but more importantly, it'll transfer weight over those front tires so that the tires will eventually regain traction. I know we reviewed all this in the earlier report on physical forces, but this is important. So can we just go over again what to do in a rear tire skid situation? Well, believe me, I don't think you can review this stuff enough because we do treat a rear tire skid differently than a front tire skid. With a rear tire skid, the driver starts to feel the rear of the car sliding to the left or right, or fishtailing. And in this case, a bit of acceleration is actually appropriate. The driver will accelerate a little bit. This will transfer the weight to the rear of the car, but simultaneously, the driver needs to steer in the direction of the skid. For example, if the rear of the car moves left, the driver should turn the steering wheel to the left. Okay, let's take a look at the video clip. I really want to show how important it is to focus on where you want to go. Okay. Here comes the driver. She's been told to focus on that red and white pole down there. She loses control. Wow, look at that. Look how she pulled out of the skid. That's amazing. And here's another driver. Let's watch. Oh, there he goes. He's focusing and he pulls out of it. Yes, it's an easy enough technique. Just have to think quickly and remember to do this when you get into a skid. But one other thing, we've been talking about skids but sometimes a car will go into a full-fledged spin all the way around. Little different situation. If you're unable to prevent a full spin, then the best thing to do is focus on that long distance target. Now that may mean moving your head back and forth as you spin until the car comes to rest. Keep your eye on that target.